So today we will be discussing how to use ebooks and audiobooks. If you go to our website at www.ocpl.org, you can access our site and scroll down to the online resources. There are a, a variety of e-library resources that you can select, but today we're going to be focusing on ebooks and audiobooks. So if you scroll down to the ebooks and audiobooks section, select Overdrive, and this will take you to an additional web page and you will go ahead and hit continue. On the home page, it will show you a variety of options to choose from at the top. You can also scroll down to the just added, but if you want to access your account, you select sign in, type in your library card number and pin, and it will take you straight to your home page. Go ahead and select your account. This will take you to your home page and you can access your loans. From here, you'll be able to see how long you have before an item expires, you have multiple options to return an item early if you're done, request it again if you're not quite finished when it's about to end, and also once you're getting close to the deadline, if there's nobody else waiting for a copy, you can renew the item as well. There are two ways you can access the content online. You can use the current web browser that you're signed into on the desktop, or you can use the mobile app, which we will cover later. If there is an item you want that is currently unavailable, you can place a hold and wait for a copy to become available. On the holds tab, you can keep track of how long it will take for that item to become available. And also you can use the wish list to keep track of items that you want to read later. And the setting tab is extremely useful. Here's where you can actually select the lending period of how long you can hold on to your ebooks and audiobooks. Some patrons prefer to use their Kindle, so at the top you can select Kindle Books, and what this will do is show only titles that are available on Kindle. You go ahead and select Borrow, and this will give you the option to borrow the item at this time. Here's where you can actually decide whether you want to read it in the browser or actually connect it to your Kindle. You can click on Read Now with Kindle, and this will direct you to your Amazon page. You will either sign into your Amazon page or if you already have your computer set to be auto signed in, it'll take you straight to your account and you can click on get book and once you've linked it to your Amazon, then you'll be able to access it on your Kindle. Now we will cover how to access the content on a mobile device, whether it's a tablet or your phone. You can go ahead and download the Libby by Overdrive app. This will bring you to the same content that you were accessing on the computer through Overdrive. These two programs are linked together that once you've signed in, anything you do to one will happen to the other. The first time that you launch Libby, it will ask you to link your library card number and PIN, but after that, you'll be able to access it freely. Here on the homepage of Libby, you'll have the option to go through the preferences and designate whether you want books only, audiobooks, or any, which will allow you to do a search for books and audiobooks on whatever content you're looking for. The homepage will have some recently added items just like the homepage on the Overdrive website. At the bottom of your screen you will see that it says library and shelf. If you go ahead and select shelf, this will take you to what you currently have checked out. These two programs are virtually the same, just one is mobile and then the other one is a desktop. At the top you can hit explore and it will give you a variety of options to choose from if you're looking for some suggestions. or you can click on the search option to type in specifically what you're looking for. Once you've found what you're looking for, you can cl click on borrow and that will open the item in the app itself. For audiobooks, all you have to do is click the play button and it'll start playing right from the app itself. You can click at the top to adjust the speed. There's also an option to set it to turn off in the evening if you want to listen to something to go to bed. And then there's also the bookmark tab, the very top right corner. There are three lines where you can access the chapters if you want to skip ahead or go back to a specific section. If you click on the shelf button at the very bottom of the screen, this will take you to your loans and holds. It'll access the exact same items that you were looking at on the desktop and you can open it from your mobile device. So all in all, these two programs are the same, it's just one is a mobile program and one is the desktop. Today we have covered how to access the online resources for ebooks and audiobooks. Please come back for more videos on how to use our online services.